Hewlett Packard Enterprise Instant On HPE Network Instant On Access Point AP21. Now, who is this for? It is designed, or this is designed for small businesses or warehouses or shops. I have either at the moment. Well, yeah, you know, I'm working on it. It's work in progress. So, Hewlett Packard Enterprise actually sent me this, so thank you so much for that. I didn't actually buy it. And uh, we are going to be doing an honest review, as always, capable of hosting up to 1.5 gigabytes per second over two dual band antennas. Yeah, two. This access point, this access point, brings high speed connectivity to areas of 1500 square feet and smaller. So, up to 1500 square feet, if that makes sense. Just get everything out of the box. See what you get for your money. Is that it? Double check, you never know. Sometimes they hide things. So we have some sort of mounting bracket, uh, some cable, which is network cable, which is the thin stuff that I quite like actually. That's go a bit wrong sometimes if it's cheap stuff. I think it's the good stuff. And the actual unit itself. It's got a nice bit of weight to it, it's not too heavy. And we have a power connection now and Ethernet connection. Now I'm assuming it's power over Ethernet because there's no plug. And what do we have here? We have console. You can plug in the console. That's clever. I quite like that. So that is it. Yeah. Instant on. And it should be quite easy to set up from what I've been reading. HPE network instant on access point. The instant on access point, AP21, this little baby here, access point is ideal for set and forget deployments that need only one to two APS like small retail stores, pop-up shops and startups. Can connect up to 50 devices, yeah, 50, 50 devices at once, not a hard limit, but a recommendation based on normal usage. So it could probably do even more, but they recommend a maximum of 50 in their opinion. Perfect for one or many small instant locations of one to two APs in small stores, offices, conference rooms, no additional hardware or license fees needed for cloud management, lowest total cost of ownership in the industry. Yeah, so you haven't got to pay a monthly subscription, you haven't got to subscribe to a cloud, it is just basically plug and almost play. Just do a little bit of configuration, like, you know, put in your uh, Wi-Fi. Easy setup with internal guest portal and captive portal integration with third-party portal integration possibilities. Very clever. Right, let's have a read the instructions and see how easy it actually is to set up. And if it is that easy, we're going to go through the navigation of setting this up right here, right now. Right, before we do the setup, let me quickly show you how this little bracket works. It's quite easy. So, you know, logo says instant on, so you want the right way up if you're putting it on the wall, don't you? So basically, this little hole here will go into that little hole there. The screws will go into there, so you fix this to the wall, like so, obviously, or to the ceiling, like so, yeah? And then this, or this, will go into that. So you line up that hole, like so, and then you just turn this and it will lock into place. That easy. Now is it easy to get it out again? Because I've never actually done that. And uh, yeah, it is. Thank God for that. But that is it. Two screws sold up, which is probably all you need anyway. Two screws sold up on the wall or the ceiling. Lock it in the place and then unlock it when you uh, need access to it. For whatever reason. Now, I didn't go through everything on the back of here, did I? So, I've done the console, USB, mini USB. I've done the network cable connection and the power. And I didn't do keystone lock, in case you need to lock it up, to stop people stealing it. And there's a reset button. Yeah, there's a little reset button. Just thought I'd let you know about that. Just in case you needed to know. So yeah, you can set it back to factory default. So HPE has thought of everything, even the reset button, which can be very handy sometimes, just in case you know, think, ah, do I get this to work again? It's not working. 
and you will need to download a bit of software and we're going to go through that right now before I plug this in just going to show you the basics on the software and then we're going to set this up first things first you need to download the software which is called instant on so just go to the app store or scan one of the Q codes and it will take you there so just download that install it you need to set up an account okay you will need to set up an account once you've done that you will come to this page identify the site so I'm in England, I'm in Chatham in England, and I'm going to call this, you know, say for instance you're running a little cafe or restaurant or something like that, or an office block, you need to give it a name. So I'm going to just call this, um, I don't know, Studio Office. What do you think? Yeah, Studio Office. So you know, so so you know where it is. You spelled that wrong, didn't you? Studio Office and then continue then you need the serial number of this right to set this up but before we do that we're going to connect this up first right let's start up now for some reason my poe switch isn't giving any power now i know the poe is working on this because i tried it on one of my other switches and it works fine the lights will come on and pop your uncle but for some reason my new switch it's not working on PoE, and I'm sure it's supposed to be PoE. Now, I've asked them the question, not these people. I've asked TP Link, I said, is my switch supposed to be PoE? So I'm waiting for a reply back from them. So in the meantime, I'm using power. Now, I have checked. It says you need 12 volts, 2 amps, and this is 12 volts, 1.5 amps. So it should, in theory, just work, hopefully. Not a famous word, so plug it in. So we have a red light, it should go green, I believe. Right, so we have flashing green. Don't have internet at the moment, but we need to configure that, don't we? So we've got power. So we need to get the app up. Uh, we need to create a site, apparently. So go there, I'm going to call it Studio Office. Uh, continue serial number now apparently you can scan that or you can just type it in from the bottom scan Q code or bar so like while using the app got that continue searching and there we go add device Access point. Blah blah blah. Create site. Redirecting. Oh look, got orange and green. And we're in. Right, so what do we have? We have active networks, zero, connected clients, zero, transferred in twenty four hours, zero, online devices, zero full stroke one. Let's have a quick look. Now she is only for two minutes synchronizing, so that might take a few minutes, apparently. Two minutes synchronizing, so we're going to come back in a minute when it goes green, hopefully. And that is it. Now that is really easy. So you get a solid green to say it's completed, you get two greens on the actual unit itself one to say it's got power, and two to say it's got internet. Now we need to do a speed test, don't we? before we do anything else. Obviously, we're going to have to connect to the new Wi-Fi. And it's quite easy to find. I named it Studio Office and connected. Had no issues with that whatsoever. Put in the password and away we went. Now, the strength. I was quite impressed with this. Did you see the strength? And the link speed is 1200 megabits per second. That is quite rapid. Now, let's do the speed test and see how well she performs. Now, I did run this several times, but I'm only going to show you one or two speed tests because, you know, I thought you're getting bored. And yeah, very impressed. I was getting well over 500 and sometimes well over 600, 700 on the uh, downloads and over 100 on the uploads, which I thought was pretty good. The software. Now, I found that software was very good. It gives you uh, tons of information. It shows you everything you need to know 
whether you need to turn on something or turn something off just in case you've got like say for instance children and you don't want them seeing adult content you can leave that turned on to block it or you can turn it off to allow people to watch it it is entirely up to you tons of options and also there are different ways of getting to that menu whatever menu you're trying to get to whether you use the, the three lines on the top left or whether you just scroll using the actual icons actually on the front of the screen loads of different options and very helpful and easy to understand as well yeah they have thought of in my opinion virtually everything let me know in the comments whether you think i've missed anything or you need a bit more information we might be able to sort this out between us but so far i am very impressed ease of use whether you're using the hardware whether you're installing the hardware and the software easy to use once you download it and installed it and set up an account you're ready to go and of course there's no monthly subscription or even yearly subscription which is even better now before i tell you what i think of this device there's a couple of features i haven't mentioned yet one being it's cat 6 certified yes cat 6 not cat 5 or 4 but cat 6 so hpe the ap21 this little baby here is wi-fi 6 certified by the wi-fi alliance now also it is dual bandwidth so it does oops let's go back it does 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz dual band something you might find interesting or very helpful i normally do run dual band on my router or router whatever you want to call it, my modem router yes so i normally run dual band this does exactly the same and one other little feature you might find interesting or you might like especially if you've got it somewhere where you don't want too much light so these two little lights here you can actually turn them off so it's got quiet light mode it takes a few seconds for it to turn it off after you press the button but they do go off let's watch there you go yeah so you can have the lights on or off it says there quiet light mode now the other things I like about this is all purely down to the software. The hardware works brilliantly, don't get me wrong. Everything seems to work. Doesn't matter where I went in the house, I had a very good signal. And I'm not just saying that, it is true. Unlike some other videos I've seen on YouTube with other devices, they seem to struggle with stuff like this, not working properly. But instant on seems to work, for me anyway, perfect. And it is ideal, like I said at the beginning, it's ideal for someone who's got a small office or business and they need access to Wi-Fi rather than hardware. Yes, don't forget, you can run it PoE, power over Ethernet. That means without a power cord, yes. But in my case, my switch, for whatever reason, doesn't have PoE. But I do have another switch coming, so you might find that interesting. That does have PoE, so look out for that video. So with that, yeah, it definitely gives my thumbs up. I'm thinking... Not 100% sure yet, but I'm thinking of using it permanently in my office. And I'm thinking I might even be another one. So I have, say, one downstairs and another one upstairs, and I'll link it up to this one so it sort of bounces it around more. But I'll have to change all the passwords and that and reconfigure it slightly so it's more secure. But everything, like I said, everything seems to work fine. I love the way the actual menu works. There's so many different ways of getting to so many different things. If you need to, whether you're using the shortcuts down below, or even if you're going through this little section, or even using the three little lines to get to wherever you need to go. There are a few options for you to get to the same place. And one other thing, you can change the actual security of it. You can use what I'm using at the moment, which is WPA2 plus WPA3 personal, or... You can use WPA2 plus WPA3 Enterprise. So you can use WPA A2 Enterprise or a joint one, you know, the PA2 and the PA3 for more security if you want. So yeah, it does everything you would want it to do and a little bit more. So with that, thank you, you like Packard Enterprises for sending me the instant on AP21 link in the video description below 
And if you're new to my channel, or even if you're old, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell for notifications. Have a good one. Link in the video description below.